Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, a quiet night in southern Georgia. And I'm here, the smallest church in America. You wanna go inside? Follow me. Now, as you can see, there's uh, certain things missing here from uh, inside the smallest church in America. There's no pews. Uh, they don't have a real uh, pulpit yet. Uh, the reason for this is, is that November 2015, someone actually burned down this church, the smallest church in America, presumably some sort of devil-worshipping hooligan. But amazingly enough, the community pulled together to rebuild this church and it is already standing once more here out in the middle of the woods in southern Georgia. Now some people might say, hey, smallest church in America? I've seen churches smaller than that. Well, you may have. But the thing is that this church, the official name of this church, as you can see on the sign outside, the official name is the smallest church in America. So you cannot argue that because that is the name. So another question may come up is who owns the smallest church in America? And I can say that where I stand right now is one of the only places in America that is actually owned by this man Mr. Jesus Christ. This land belonged to, I believe it was a lady that, that owned this small church. And when she died, she actually willed it to Jesus Christ. And Jesus can do a lot of things. But one thing you can't do is mow the lawn, uh, paint, or pay property taxes and that sort of thing. So fortunately for him, it was built in a community of people that admire and adore him and keep up this little church and make sure it's well maintained. Unfortunately, a few rotten eggs come and burn it down, but small town shows that they're not gonna let that stop Mr. Jesus. It's like this pile of rubble here is what remains the old church that was burned. Appreciate you guys joining me on this pleasant evening in South Georgia at the smallest church in America. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, if you want to throw me a few dollars on Patreon, I will send you postcards on my travels. And if you'd like to buy a t-shirt, the link is also down below. And if you have a chance, check out my website at www.thecarpetbagger.org.